Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to episode 7 of the Surfside PPC WordPress Money Course. Um, today we're going to go over how to install WooCommerce, WooZone, and your theme. Um, this is so basically you can set up a store through WordPress. What we're going to be doing is setting up an affiliate store, uh, basically adding Amazon products um, to our website. And the way it kind of works is you add the products automatically. You're able to kind of optimize them on your website, you know, optimize the descriptions, the titles, all those different things. Um, so basically what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna show you today is how to do that quickly, how to kind of automate that process a little bit. Um, what we're gonna be doing is, so again, you can get a, kind of support the show if you go to our link. Um, so if you go to surfsideppc.com slash go slash theme forest dot php. Uh, so if you go to this website, you know, you'll automatically be re redirected to the website and you'll be able to kind of give us a <clears throat> basically a great way to support the show is is to use our URL. You don't have to. You can just go directly to themeforest.net or codecanyon.com or codecanyon.net. Um, but basically, once you go to this website, um, you're going to see there's all sorts of different things here. So they have themes, you know, under codes, they have all sorts of website scripts. You'll see code, plugins, mobile, um, video hive, so you can get different videos from them, audio, you can get different audio, graphics, photos, and then, you know, 3D vectors, models, you know, all sorts of different things like that. So basically anything you need for your website is going to be at this website. It's, it's under uh, market.envato.com. I usually go to Theme Forest or Code Canyon or some of these other ones, but um, once you come in here, all you need to do is is after you go to the website is just go to Code Canyon. Um, so basically, you have code scripts and plugins, and in this box, you just want to search Woo Zone. So that's it, just Woo Zone. Now what you're looking for is this one right here. So WooZone, the Amazon Associates Bundle Pack, $69. Um, if, you know, once I click on the URL, you'll be able to see what the URL is. So basically you could just go to codecanyon.net slash item, you know, all these things. You won't give us the credit, but this is basically what you want to get to. So WooZone is an automated way to add products into your WordPress website. Uh, so when you set up WooCommerce, WooZone will, you know, automatically just put, you just have to kind of, search for the products through the plugin and then you just import them directly to your website. Um, they have a couple different things here. So the reason why I like uh, choosing, you know, the Amazon Associates bundle pack is it's $69 total. Um, you could buy WooZone separately, but with this one, it comes with um, the theme Kingdom, it comes with WooZone Contextual, and it comes with Discount Finder. So you have a couple different plugins included and the Kingdom theme. Um, so it's a pretty good deal here. Um, you could just buy WooZone by itself. You know, they have here $42. Um, so you can just buy that by itself and upload a theme. Um, but this is kind of what I like to go with. So $69 total dollars, and you get a nice theme with it. Um, they're going to show different things down here. So here's what the bundle contains, WooZone. Uh, so it's WooCommerce Amazon affiliates. This is how you add products automatically. Um, WooZone Contextual is the Amazon advertising plugin. And then you also have the discount finder for WordPress. Um, obviously with the theme too. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this here and then I'm going to show you how to install everything on your website. All right, so I made my payment. Um, now you'll get this screen once you're done. It'll say payment complete. Uh, you'll have your order download. Um, you have the WooZone Amazon Associates bundle pack. It also show this item is now available on your downloads page. Um, so if I open that in a new tab, you'll be able to kind of see. So these are all the kind of things I've purchased from here before. So WooZone Amazon Associates Bundle Pack. Here's just the plugin. I've purchased that separately. Um, I've used this theme before, Flatsum. So it's a nice theme that you could download through Theme Forest. Um, and then a couple other things. So this theme, uh, you know, W00 or W-O-O-W, um, another responsive WooCommerce theme. I don't use it any longer. Um, I like to use Flatsum a little bit better. And I also like the Kingdom theme that you get through the Bundle Pack. Um, so you see I have a couple different licenses here, some different <clears throat> themes that I've bought in the past, but kind of what I recommend is I like the Kingdom theme that's through the uh, bundle pack, and I like this Flatsum theme. And then the other advanced bulk edit. So this comes in handy when you start getting up to like hundreds and thousands of products. Uh, so the WooCommerce advanced bulk edit makes things a lot easier if you're trying to, you know, switch a lot of things in bulk. Um, this I'm not sure how much this one costs, but it's another thing you can get for WooCommerce. There's all sorts of downloads you can have. Um, so from this 
payment complete page you could just click download and basically what it's going to do is it's going to give you a bundle pack a zip code so I'm just going to download the entire thing alright so once you have everything downloaded what we're going to do now is start by uploading the plugins and the theme uh, so we're going to come back into WordPress here um, so you know if you go to your URL here you log in uh, make sure you kind of follow the videos the steps from the other videos if, if you have any trouble with this part um, so once you're kind of into your WordPress website what you want to do we're going to start by installing the theme first so what you want to do is go to it, appearance and then themes so they're going to have the themes 2015 2016 2017 they're like the default themes for WordPress um, you can come up here and click premium themes and find some other you know themes if you wanted you could find wordpress.org themes the thing to keep in mind is if you don't uh, get the kingdom theme like we're using um, first off some of the video might not you know might be a little bit more difficult to follow some of the video but you should be able to kind of do it no matter what theme you have but if you go for a different theme make sure you're using a WooCommerce theme uh, if you want something free for WooCommerce uh, the theme that I would recommend is storefront um, so if you just do free WooCommerce themes storefront is usually the most popular option I actually use it with one of my websites and it works just fine um, but I prefer premium themes because they have a little bit more flexibility and they kind of they're a little bit more optimized as well in terms of SEO and kind of cash so um, what we're gonna do here in themes is we already have ours downloaded uh, I just downloaded everything from <clears throat> after purchasing it and we're gonna go to upload so they have themes here already that they'll kind of just show you don't need to worry about any of that let's just go here to upload theme um, so the theme is going to be in a zip format and what we're going to do is to click browse alright so once you click browse what you want to do after you download your package from Code Canyon is you want to unzip everything and what you're going to get is a folder at least mine is is a folder called 2.6 uh, so basically whichever version it is that's what the folder is going to be so it should be you know your folder should look like this even as there is updates it should look very similar if you get the same package that I just purchased and what you want to do is come into kingdom the Amazon affiliates theme it's gonna say 3.3.2 or whichever version it is it might be 3.3.3 you know whichever um, you're gonna keep clicking these arrows here so and come down to theme and they have theme zipped and theme unzipped so we're gonna go into theme zipped uh, they have the kingdom theme and the kingdom child theme so what we're gonna do is first do the kingdom theme alright so once your theme finally installs you're gonna get this page here uh, it's gonna say unpacking the package installing the theme theme installed successfully and what we're gonna do is click activate so activate is gonna make it your main theme until you click activate basically your theme just gets installed to the server um, so we have it activated here and what you're gonna see is this theme recommends certain plugins um, so you can click begin installing plugins but what we're gonna actually do is upload the child theme now so if you saw there's two themes in there go back to upload theme again and you're gonna see kingdom child here so we're gonna add that one as well now a child theme is basically used so you can you know there's parent themes and child themes so you're gonna see here our parent theme is kingdom 3.3.2 so that's gonna be kind of your overarching theme um, the child theme is helps for, for you to make custom edits custom designs you know to add different plugins through your child theme and you're able to kind of customize it however you want for your website so a child theme is good uh, for making customizations and you can you know as long as you have the parent theme kingdom 3.3.2 installed or whichever one it is then the child theme will help you make custom edits it'll add, basically give you more functionality within your website and more ability to make changes without you know messing up the overall theme the kingdom 3.3.2 theme um, if you make too many updates to your child theme and it doesn't work you could just reinstall their custom child theme and go right back to the you know reset spot and you don't mess with your theme at all so it's good because you know allows you to kind of customize things as you go a lot and even if you're thinking to yourself you know you're not going to customize much you learn a lot as you go and you kind of figure out different ways to to add to your theme and, and everything like that so we're going to activate this as well okay so alright so now we have our child theme activated you'll see the parent theme is still over here so basically the the child 
theme will let us customize things a little bit more. Um, you could always just go right back to the parent theme and keep it just like this, but child themes are a little bit, they give you a little bit more, a little better ability to customize your website. All right, so now we have our child theme activated here. You'll see the other theme over here. Uh, you could just keep this one activated, but we're going to use the child theme. Um, it's really a matter of preference, however you want to do it. All right, so what we're going to do is install the other plugins that came with our came with our package that we just bought from Code Canyon. Uh, so some of the other ones we want to install are going to be WooZone. Um, so right now I'm going to dismiss this notice up here with the theme recommends the following plugins. I'm going to go through plugins on the next video. So we're going to dismiss this notice. We can keep this Google Analytics settings up here because I want to go over that in a future video as well. All right, so what we're going to do now is install some of the other plugins that work that came with our Code Canyon package here. All right, so when you click plugins, you're going to come to this page here. They're going to have some of their top plugins here. Um, what we're going to do is click upload plugin at the top and click browse. Um, you'll see I have I've already put the Kingdom theme up there. Uh, so this is the big one here, WooZone Amazon Affiliates plugin. So if you open the plugin folder, you'll see WooZone.zip. So we want to add that. And it's okay. So once it's done installing, uh, we're just going to click activate plugin. Okay, so you're going to get this page here. Um, we're going to go over, you know, basically everything that you need to set it up properly. So there's current memory limit. Um, you know, they kind of recommend certain themes to use. So we're already using the Kingdom theme, so you don't have to worry about that. We could just dismiss this notice. Um, and the plugin needs another WordPress plugin, but our next video is going to be the top 10 WordPress plugins you need for your website. So just stay tuned for our next video, and we're going to go through that. Uh, we're going to go back into plugins here and click add new because I want to install every plugin that we just bought from Code Canyon. Uh, so we're going to go back to upload plugin here, browse. Um, so the licensing here, don't worry about that. Uh, WooZone contextual plugin. Um, so this is just another plugin that they have here. So basically any WooCommerce WooZone plugin, the contextual plugin um, helps you find up new products and different things like that. So kind of just helpful things. We're going to activate it again. Okay, so they have basically different things here. So contextual advertising settings. Um, you know, don't worry about all this right now. We're going to go over everything. So plugins one more time, and we're going to click add new. We're going to add the last one there. So Amazon discount finder obviously helps you find discounts within Amazon for some of their products, which can be helpful for your niche. So you can, uh, you know, promote some different uh, discounts and things like that. So this will be our last plugin that we're adding for right now. And then in the next video, we're going to configure a lot of our different plugins. Uh, it's going to be about the top 10 WordPress plugins you need. Um, so we're going to activate this one. And basically, once this loads here, uh, this is going to be our video for right now. So what we did right now is we are able to you know, get our WooZone Amazon Associates bundle pack from Code Canyon. And again, you can go to our website. So our website is surfsideppc.com slash go slash themeforest.php. And that will help you kind of come into ThemeForest. You could just go into Code Canyon, you search WooZone, and you'll find the Amazon Associates bundle pack. If you don't want to go through all those steps, you could just go to Google and search WooZone. You know, you don't have to go through our link. It's fine. Um, and once you have this, you download it, you're going to get the different plugins that we just added. You're going to get the different theme that we just put on. And, you know, that'll help you with, you know, as, as we move forward with, with you following along with our videos. Um, so appreciate you joining us today and stay tuned for future video updates.